and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag with you and the bag featured today in this video is my little lambskin Chanel mini square and this specific mini is from the 19C collection, the cruise collection of 2018. This beauty is the Barbie pink shade in the lambskin. This is my absolute favourite pink by Chanel so far. I am so impressed by how beautiful this Barbie pink colour is and I'm super happy to have got my hands on this gorgeousness because I actually didn't buy this when the collection was out and I managed to find it secondhand in absolute perfect condition so I feel extremely lucky to have found her. So before we get started I do just want to show you how I would coordinate this bag for example with the outfit that I'm wearing today. If you're not interested however you can just use the timestamp in the description below to skip that step and get straight on with what's in my bag. So this outfit is super cute. I love how feminine and pretty it is. I think the style is almost a little bit bohemian. It's floral with lots of frills and a bit of lace. I just love like the pinky purple color and the cute floral print and the lace is just such a pretty detail. I think this is actually one of my favorite outfits right now. It's just so beautiful. And I think the colors are just so perfect together with my little Chanel mini. And of course, not to forget the shoes. I love to wear a same color shoe as the bag that I'm wearing if I can. These are from Le Bouton and this pink matches so perfect with my Chanel mini. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description if you're interested in this set. Okay so let's get on with the how I pack my bag or what's in my bag. So as you can see this Chanel mini is as the name states it is very mini and you cannot actually fit too much inside here but you can just fit the perfect amount if you don't carry so much. Now as you can see on the table around me these are all the items that I would usually pack into a bag. For example this one here now this is probably one of the biggest bags I have other than my Chanel Jumbo and it's very spacious so I already have everything packed in the SLGs and I can just pop it straight in and I don't have to worry about it. But when I downsize to a mini like this one, I do have to take some things out as unfortunately I cannot fit all of my SLGs into this tiny, tiny bag. So let's just go through what I usually carry with me. So I have my mini O pouch by Chanel. This is also from the same collection as the color is the same. And this has like all of my little cosmetics and things that I need to carry around. I also have this pink iridescent card holder. And this is what I'm using as a wallet at the moment. So this has got all my cards and my cash bills in it. I have some sunglasses, have my Apple AirPods. I also have some mints. I use this perfume, this roll-on perfume from Dior. Usually this isn't a problem, but in this case, I may have to downsize. So I have like a little tester perfume here. I have my little tiny Hermes coin pouch. I have some tissues. And last, I have my little Chanel key pouch which is also from the same collection as the O pouch. So all of these items are things that I find to be necessary when I go out, but because I'm packing this little tiny beauty here, I'm gonna have to downsize. So let's go ahead and put in the most important things. So first, let me just show you when you open her up, I don't wanna stretch her back too much, but this is the kind of space that we're looking at. And when you close the square, you have to kind of press together here. So it's not quite as thick as you think it is. Yes, you can stretch it out like this, but the flap will not close if it's too stretched out. So as you can see, when the flap is closed, it is kind of pressed together. So you need to keep that in mind when you do pack this bag. So first off, when I'm packing this bag, I know that because I'm not gonna be able to fit everything in here, there are a few items, like for example, my sunglasses, which I feel like I'll be very lucky if I can put these in. So this is the kind of thing that I can carry on my body somewhere, most likely just here like this, or perhaps on my head like this. And it's just an easier way so I don't have to pack it in my bag. So that's what I would usually do with my sunglasses. I do, however, definitely always take my AirPods with me everywhere. So this is going inside first. And then next, I definitely need my wallet. This has everything inside it, my credit cards, my cash and everything. So that's gonna go in second. That's very, very important. Now I am gonna put it this way because it does actually fit in perfectly just like that. It is the perfect size. That fits in really nicely. And of course, I definitely need to take my keys, but this is definitely too big to fit in here for sure. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get this in and actually close the bag. So what I will do is I'll just separate my keys and I'll just take the ones that are necessary and pop these in. I will put these into the little zipper pocket at the back. There we go, just like that. Okay, next, I always want to take mints with me and these take up no space at all, so they will just fit in like this. And I also really want to take my coin pouch, so I'm just gonna pop that in there as well. 
and for this bag because this perfume has like quite sharp edges I don't really want to put this in because I think it will risk to scratch the top of the flap so instead I'm just going to swap that out for a little tiny little tester perfume and I always try to collect these from the department store whenever I can because they're so useful so I'll just pop that in separately so we are currently looking like this at the moment tissues shouldn't be a problem they don't take up too much space so I'm also going to pop those in as well and then for my O pouch I actually carry a lot of things in here so I have my little compact mirror I have some lipstick I usually take just one lipstick the one that I'm wearing that day I have a little comb, I have concealer. I also take some plasters with me and I have some paracetamol because headaches just spring on sometimes and I don't know, it's just really annoying if I don't have paracetamol. I have eye drops for when my eyes are feeling dry. I've got a lip liner, I have a spare bobble, I have some hairpins and another bobble and I also have some small scissors. So I think I can definitely fit all of these items in here but I just have to be strategic and I definitely cannot take this pouch because it just takes up too much space. So I will have to leave this one at home. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. So this concealer, I think it, yes, it can actually just stand up so that's perfect. And then the lipstick, I'm just gonna slot it in. The eye drops as well will just pop in on top of my earbuds. My comb is extremely important because having night hair is just horrible. <laughs> I also need my mirror. Yes, I will take my paracetamol, so I'll just slot that in there. And I'm basically just putting the rest of the items in where there is space. And because it's all separated, it's really easy just to kind of slip in between everything else. So this is the current situation and I'm pretty sure that this is going to close okay. Okay, done. Now this isn't really bulging or anything so I'm pretty much happy with that. I have everything that I need in here. Despite being mini, she can actually fit like I said everything that I need. You can still fit like a little tiny wallet like the card holder. To be honest, you couldn't probably fit anything much more than that. I find that the card holder is very compact and it fits perfectly in a little mini bag like this. So here's just a bit of a close up. So everything fits in just perfectly. So there she is, all packed and ready to go. I must say I absolutely love the mini square. I did have a mini rectangular once, but I got rid of it, one, because the color wasn't perfect, and two, I just really wanted a square. I think not only are they absolutely adorable, I could be wrong, but I think they are a little bit taller, the squares, and the rectangulars are more like short and long. And because of that, there was a lot of things that I couldn't stand up, like for example, my concealer this one i would not be able to stand this up in a mini rectangular and i think it's just nice when everything stands up perfectly and you can just look into the bag and see everything that you need and you can take it out really easily with the rectangular i had to like pile everything on top so i had to do a lot of rummaging to get to the bottom so yeah i'm a big fan of the mini square and a lot of people say that the lambskin is a very delicate but this specific bag the lambskin is actually pretty durable i don't feel afraid to take her out because i think that's another thing that people worry about with lambskin chanel bags so yeah just a quick tip if you're buying a chanel lambskin bag but you're a little bit afraid about whether the lambskin is quite delicate or not i would definitely recommend going to see and touch the bag before you get a lambskin one just in case Okay, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I pack in my little Chanel mini. So I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.